Yeah, we're going live. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the live stream on my YouTube channel where I help you with all your questions and queries, and we talk amongst ourselves about everything to do with fishing, and we help each other in this great community. So it's a little bit late this, this evening, five past seven instead of seven o'clock, but we had a problem with YouTube. Their live streaming service was down. So we're five minutes late, but we're here. We're ready to rock and roll, and we're going to get into it very shortly. Just want to say hello to everybody, remind everyone, to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and you'll never miss another one of these live streams or any of the videos again. Welcome, guys. Evening, Keith Paris. Hope you're well. Thieves like us. Hi, uh, hi Stu. Mark, Richard Mark Hodgkiss. Hi to you as well. Good evening. Hi, evening, Chris D. Joe Brown. Carl G. Nice to see you as well in the house. Danny Gleed. Evening to you. Danny O'Brien. Evening as well. It's got to be caught. Carpy, oi oi, good to see you. Dave Fisher, Frankie Carter. Ah, it's just everybody's in here. All the usual suspects are in here tonight. Hope you're well. Anyone on the bank tonight? Anyone fishing away on the bank? Uh, in this lovely autumn weather, low pressure, little bit of rain, bits and pieces going on. Willie, Wa Willie Wasson. He's finally caught one of these live sessions. Good to see you here. We always welcome new people into our fold, our little community we've got, which I must mention, if you haven't already, get yourself over to our internal Facebook group. It only takes one bite. It's a brilliant bunch of guys in there. Not too much advertising, hardly any at all. Everybody helps each other, answering questions and queries on bait and rigs and lakes and products and everything so get yourself over there it's a closed facebook group called it only takes one bite uh, apply to get in we'll let you in and then enjoy yourself evening aaron paul evening zigs for life dammy jones evening as well carl baldwin evening to you nigel marshall hi to you mate nathan leak hi as well and hi to everybody if i've missed anyone Let's see how many people we've got in here already. We've got 28 of us in here. That will normally grow as the evening goes on. We're going to be here for about an hour, just trying to answer questions and queries about fishing. Willie Wesson's on a gravel pit in Newark. Not showing, but his baits are in the water. As I always say, Willie, it only takes one bite. You've got to keep on keeping on. You're one step closer, every blank, to a bite. Let's have a couple of uh, cup of Yorkshire tea here, which Mrs. B has kindly made me. Mrs. B has been telling me she's going to come on here and ask ask me to do the hoovering or something, or you know she's going to gatecrash the YouTube live feed and ask me why haven't I done this or can I do this? Ask me a question. Really? Okay. James Darvel says loves the videos. Keep on carping. Thanks very much for your. Kind comments. Evening obsessive carp. I hope you're well, mate. Dave Fisher asks, what bait would I use now it's getting colder? Well, I still use my fish mill bait that I've been using for the last couple of months. I use it all the way up to about mid beginning of November, mid-November. But from about beginning of October, what I do is I I substitute about 25% of that fish mill for 25% of my winter bait which is System X, which is an all-season bait. And as the weeks go by, it'd be 50-50 fish mill and all-season bait, and then it'd be 75-25, and as we come into sort of December, it'd be 100% all-season all season System X I'll be using, which is you know like a bird food nut mix, uh, and I'll be using that all the way through the winter, of course with maize and emp and all that sort of stuff, chop up your boilies, but that's what I would do. So if you've been using a bait which is very digestible all year round, hardly any fish meal content in it, then just keep using that because the fish have already seen it. What I try and do is introduce that fresh bait, that 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 bait which I'm going to use in the winter on a little and often basis until I'm using just that. So the fish see it. So if they're feeding on my fish meals, which they have been for the last three or four months, then they're going to see that bait I'm going to be using in the winter and they're going to 
see that readily and it's going to become a food source for them if I'm staying on the same lake, which I am. When you're out next doing it live from the bank, I'm hoping to next week do a live stream from the bank. It'll either be Tuesday night, I think. Maybe. We'll see. Roy Close, good to see you. He had a small comment today. He was hooking it. There was another rig in it. Carp care is very important. Very important, Roy. And well done for taking the other rig out as well. Carp dog, he's downstairs with Mrs. B. Mrs. B's making one of her legendary curries for me to take fishing with me next week. They are legendary. There's nothing like them. Carp dog, he's downstairs. He, he'll be up in a minute. Don't worry, he'll be up and around. Does a black chicken, Lionel Catalantis says, fit in the Ridge Monkey toaster? It fits in there perfect. Evening, Frank Rizzo. Good to see you here. Chris B, good to see you. Danny Gleed says, when am I bringing out a book? I did think about a book about four or five years ago. But it's just fine in the time with my job and everything else and family. You know, it's like, guys, and you want to get out fishing. It's just not possible. Maybe when I retire, I might write a book. Yeah, nice one. Team England in the World Cup Classics. Lee Jackson and the old statesman himself. The old pint of Guinness, as I call him. Stu Unzi says, do I fish in the margins in winter or head for the deeper water? Uh, it all depends. I like to fish silt in the winter, which is deeper than everywhere else, which is near sort of a plateau or near an island. So I'll probably have one rod up near the island in the shallow water, because if that sun comes out, then they do like to get in that warmer water. But a lot of the food's in the silt, so I sort of hedge my bets. Hi, Brett Dunro. Good to see you here. 1970 Phil I see says, Evening Leon, would you soak your maize for 24 hours or longer? I usually soak it for about 24 hours, then boil it up for about 30, 40 minutes, and then just leave it. And when I say leave it, leave it for at least a week, so it's sort of turning and gloopy and you get a crust on it. And honestly, that's the best time to use it. Not when it's fresh, believe it or not. There's all them sugars and everything else is coming out. Steve Root asked last week on my vlog, did I was cooking kebabs. Did I cook them in the Ridge Monkey? Yes, I cooked them in the Ridge Monkey. What I do is I've got this four or five on a skewer. You get them from Asda, I think, or Tesco. They do pork ones, um, chicken ones, barbecue, tikka ones. And I just get the fork, take them off the actual skewer, stick them in the Ridge Monkey, put them all in there. And then I just put them in wraps with a bit of cream, salad cream or a bit of salad or whatever. Lovely. Can't be it, but you could use a normal frying pan or a barbecue, it just depends what you've got. Evening, the Welsh carp, Welsh carp catchers. Nathan Leek says, Where can I get one of your black chicken hoodies from, please? Well, Nathan, you'll be in luck soon because I've just ordered some samples of the black chicken hoodies, and if they're any good, I've got one here that's that is one sample, but the color's just not right. Look, guys, look. It's a little bit too bottle green, isn't it? It's not carpy enough. It's a little bit too bottle green. So I'm trying to get some darker ones. See what happens with that. Evening, Keith Oakley. Camo Carpy Kutzi says, what's my thoughts on crimps? Um, just one, one more thing to worry about, isn't it? If it's done properly... You know, they should work okay. I've never used them myself, personally. I've never felt the need to. I always like to tie uh, the rigs. Brett Dumbo's off the Bentley Fisheries in the weeks for a couple of nights. Good luck, Brett. And let us know, or if you go into the It Only Takes One Bite internal Facebook group, let us know in now. Brett Dumbo signed hoodie. Well, you know, I'll probably give that one away in one of the uh, giveaways that we do. Joy and Tony Mercia, hi Leon, what do you think is the best brolly on the market right now? I've got a 50 and a 60 inch Fox Super, Super brolly, but I have to say that they both leak. So unfortunately, even the Mark II I've got, it does leak a little bit. So I'm a little bit disappointed with that. So I'm looking at getting uh, maybe 
if I can afford it, is a Trekker V2 Tempest. The actual kit thing. So I'm going to hand this over to you guys. What do you think is the best brolly slash bivvy on the market at the moment? Tell us what you use and what your recommendations are. Tony Hustler, good to see you, mate. Hope you're well up the folly. The same Tony Hustler, I think it is. What's the best cart book you've read today? I like Terry Hearn's very first one. Um, I think it, what was it called? In Pursuit or something like that, wasn't it? That's a brilliant book. Really sort of gets the juices flowing. A lot of books these days, they're all, they've all fished the same lakes and caught the same fish. I find them pretty boring, so I don't even buy them or read them. Evening, Paul Berry. Warren Clark. Hello, mate. Me and Danny smashing it on Syndicate 30 Carp so far. Well done, Warren. Big fist bump to you guys for catching them. How many people we got in the house? We've got 68 people in at the moment, which is good. Only 10 minutes in. Normally, we get about 100 max. Here we go. It's some um, Avid Tardis. Really nice from Brett Dunmo. Look at the Avid RT. Tracker Tempest, Terry says. Willie says. Nash... Broly, Tempest Air Plus Rap Daddy Gleed, Super Broly, his Super Broly Links, Joe Brown, Paul Berry Fox Classic, great value, yep, I agree. Graham says Tempest Broly, Tardis RT, Super Broly, and version 2, hands down, the V2, I agree, and even I haven't seen one. Everyone I sent my ask in the trade, and that says get yourself a Tempest V2. Nash Hog Broly, Ian R says, if you can get it, the full system. Aqua M3 has always been good to me. Had it for four years. All is good. Richard Hodgkins. Richard Hodge Kiss. Sorry, Richard. Aaron Paul says Tempest Broly. Tempest all the way says Derek Smith. James Maitwick says Evening Leon. I'm back home. Just had a week on the bank. You lucky sod, James. You lucky sod. Although saying that, I used to many, many years ago do a week on the bank, and after about the fourth day, I'd get bored. I don't think I could do more than about three or four days now. If I go to France or something for a week, it's different. You chill out with your mates and you have a relax and a social. But the hard fish, because that's what I do when I go fishing, I fish hard. Um, after two or three days, it's just too much. It's enough. Sean Castle says, Nash Groundhog can't fault it. I had an original one of those about 15 years ago, and I thought it was pretty good as well. Sean Mulqueen says, the fast and light is great. When are you getting out, Sean? Because you know, last time I see you on here, you just work, work, work. It's more not what week you're getting out, but what month. Jack Revel says, newest pre Broly looks good. Yes, I had a look at one of those. Uh, I like that as well. Nice and light for moving about. But I'm thinking more with the Tempest. It's more sort of the winter time. I want to have a bit of comfort this winter. Uh, let's have a look. Sean Castle about the book was the best book. He says, Rog Hutchinson, Carp Strikes Back, a very, very good book up there with them. Aqua Fast and Light, Sean McQueen says. Matty Rushton says, his Mark 1 super spot on still. Well, you're one of the lucky ones, I think, Matty. And I'll let you in a little secret here. I helped design some of the Mark 1 super body, so the sides came out a little bit more. Paul, Paul LaCrit says, Hi Leon, what's the chance of a video on boat work? I hope you don't mean remote control boat, Paul. Um, I should be going, hopefully, within the next six months to a place called Carp Lantis, where you use the boats. I'm going to do a big video there. So hopefully we have something on the boat work as well. Camo Carpy says, I could just fab seal my brolly to stop it leaking, mate. It doesn't leak all the time. It's only when you get heavy rain. So I can put up with that in the spring and the summer and the autumn. But as soon as it gets winter, I just want a little bit more comfort now rather than just lying underneath a brolly in the winter. Plus a carp dog. He's got to be comfortable, hasn't he? David Dawkins says he's off to Wood Lakes next Friday. Any ideas of bait to use? Any guys out here have fished Wood Lakes? David Dawkins would be thankful of some advice on what bait to take and use. Parksy, good to see you. Sean Mulcrane says still working, mate. I think he's going into years. It's not good, Sean, is it? H 
Hayden Ronnie says, Hi Leon, there was a top angler called Adam Garland. He said he gave you a tutorial. Would you say he's worth the fee as I might book him up? Hayden Ronnie, as far as I know, I know Adam Garland very, very well. And he is a good angler. Um, I'm not sure he does tutorials though. And I have, to have a sneaking suspicion that Hayden Ronnie is actually Adam Gardner in disguise coming on here. Because <laughs> he doesn't want to be seen, because he's such a famous angler, to come on here with his own name. Keith Perry says, comfort comes with age, mate. Yeah, I slum it in the spring, summer and autumn. But winter, I like a bit of comfort. Get me old Coleman going, some proper food that Mrs. B puts in the old cool box. Carp dog, sitting there, lovely. Brett Dummer says, carp lady looks great. It's a really good play. I've been about four or five times, really good. Ian R says, Fab Seal is the best for all leaks on any outdoor material. Here's something I want to ask you guys with the... Um, you know, in the last few years, there's been a lot of talk and a lot of people I know getting Wells disease. Has any of you guys ever had Wells disease? And if so, what was it like? I hear it's pretty awful. Keith Oakley says, Leon, when you're doing the camera vlog every Monday night, Keith Oakley, it's already edited and ready to go up for Monday night. Joe Brown tutorial. <laughs> I think that was Adam Garland in here, wasn't it? Yeah. Paul Brimfield says, Hi, Leon. How would you approach a shallow, very weedy lake? Um, I would try and create spots myself. We're putting lots of particle in the margins. Or just lead about until I find a bit of a drop, fish bags, or create my own spot. Brett Dumbo's 50 next, next, 56 next Saturday. Next July, I'm 50. Blimey. Doesn't the time fly, guys? <laughs> Hayden Ronnie says, nice, mate. I will book up. Cheers, Jay. <laughs> <coughs> now I know who it is. <laughs> All right, Jay, how you doing? Adam Garland, he, he, he's a proper good angler, isn't he? I love him to come on here. It'd be brilliant. <laughs> Danny Boy, ask question three times now. Leon, come on. What is the question, Danny Boy? It flicks around so quickly, Danny, that I can't keep up with it a lot of the time. So ask the question again, and I promise you I'll answer it. Willie Wilson, Hayden, Ronnie, you've been out here, yeah. That's a guy called Jay Goodson, that is. He's a good angler and a good friend of mine. Views on using the drone for lake mapping and carp spotting. Um, I like using the drone for taking film, not for lake mapping and carp spotting, but it's good to get the film and put it in videos, isn't it? Uh, Matty Russian says, for money, these bivvies cost should have to have to seal them. Exactly. I'll make you right. Ask it in caps, Danny boy. <laughs> Brad Assetier says. Keith Perry says he had a mate that died from Wells disease. It is very serious. You can actually die from it. Come on, Danny boy. I'm going to ask you a question. You've got to ask it. Let's have a look. Crankney Carpenter says, symptoms like flu, nasty disease. Yes, it is. That's why I've been told. It's like flu. You're aching. You've got no energy. You need to get yourself up to the hospital, don't you? Wayne Pettigrew says, do you fancy running your own carp lake? I'd love to. If I had the money, I'd have my own carp lake. Hayden Ronnie, good to see you, Jay. <laughs> Lionel Catland says, what do you think about sticky baits? Most baits and all baits will catch your fish. Some are better than others on different lakes. They don't all work on every lake because of pH levels and things like that. Yep, it's got to be carp. He says, the thing with Wells disease is it presents itself as flu-type symptoms. Brett Dumbo, drones, yes or no? Yes, if it's for filming. No, if it's for fish spotting. 
Darren Thompson, good to see you in here. Dara Camo Carpet says, looking at a new sleeping bag for all year round. I use a peach skin cover at the moment, but want to get over winter. What's any good? There's various good sleeping bags. I use a Fortis Force five season sleeping bag up until about when it gets really cold with a cover. And then I go into my Fox uh, all in one flat liner uh, bivy. Uh, bivy, what am I talking about, cock? Uh, flat liner bed chair with the five season zipped in bag and a cover on top and I'm toasty. Nash do a good one though and I believe talking to Lewis a gardener the new gardener one is very warm as well but I haven't I haven't seen I haven't been in one yet yeah obsessive carpet says tracker AS365 I've still got a, a, a tracker 365 and that was very warm as well Willie Wasson says, Danny Boy asked, if you soak baits in Lake Walter, can you refreeze? Yes, I always refreeze if I glug, if I, if I wash them out, I always refreeze them. You can use them again. Sorry, Danny, I took so long to answer the question. Look, Matty says, ah, he's got it, dying to get out on the bank, going to get out next weekend, the missus. Okay. <laughs> Piss on the right half, though, Brent Dumbo says. Then shoot it. Yes, Demo. Martin Scoffey says, Leon, off the Farlows in a few weeks. Anyone have any tips? I would say, Martin, speak to a guy on here. Well, there's probably two or three guys that fish Farlows on a regular basis. The obsessive your obsessive carper, he will he will give you some tips, and he's got some really good videos if you want to get over to his channel about fishing farlows. Wayne Pettigrews, he's on the bank with the Super Broly. I love, don't get me wrong, I love the Super Broly, but I just want a bit more comfort this winter. Hi, Sean Saunders, good to see you. 89 people in the house at the moment. If you care, share. If you like, hit that like button. Let's give some thumbs up. Let's hit the like button. Aaron Paul says, what's the chest waders you use as need a new pair? I've, I've had a pair for about 15 years. They were handmade. That I've, I'm not even sure what the company's name is. Not from any of the fishing tackle companies. And it was only about 70 quid for actually handmade ones, ones that actually stand up on their own. You know when you your normal chest waders, they fall over. And these stand up so you can just get straight into them when you get a bite. Keith Oakley says his order's been placed for the Unilite cap headlight. Looking forward to giving it a go. Keith, you won't be disappointed. The, the thing is with these cap lights, it's a proper company that, that just specialises in headlights for you know commercial, for uh, for people uh, uh, working on the roads, on bridges, everything. It's a proper company that makes dedicated light sources. A little bit expensive, about the 25 quid mark for that cap light, but it is the nuts. Vast chest waders, I believe they're very good as well, Brett. Evening, Lee Brown. It's got to be carpet, change of line diameter for the colder months. Uh, I tend to stick either to the same line I've been using and use fluorocarbon leaders or swap over to fluorocarbon. Darren Swinlock, Evening, Leon, great vids. Thank you very much, guys, and I appreciate every single one of you that watch my vids and come into these live streams. You know, we've got 88 people in this live stream at the moment on a Saturday night. You know, I really appreciate you guys taking up your time, listening to me waffle on. And I hope you get something from these, from our little community that we've got going. <coughs> so have a look what else we got. Ian R says, if you're on a budget, Cyprinus do a good five season bag. Supremax five season. There's a recommendation for you. Marty Scoffin says, cheers mate, can you give a shout out to my son Jensen who's just off to bed, he loves your blogs and live chat, a big shout out to you Jensen, and thank you very much for watching, What watching? big shout out to you Jensen. Michael Watkins says, I have sent you a message on Twitter, if I get a spare five minutes, come along. I will do, I don't tend to look at my messages that much on Twitter, if I'm honest. You're best to get me through my Facebook page, but I'll go and have a look after I finish this live feed and answer you, Michael. Vidkey Tyler, what 
you wreck on about the new Lash Lakes in Royston. Uh, I don't really know a lot about them. Maybe some of the guys on here be able to fill you in on if they're any good, what's in there, prices, anything like that. Lee Brown says, where's the fluffy one? He's still downstairs with Mrs. B, snuggled up. He's had a bath today, so he's not happy. Sean Castle says, Leon, have you ever heard of Angling Iron? Looking at some of their hooks, uh, I have heard of them. I haven't seen their hooks, but what you find, there's a lot of hook companies that get their hooks from exactly the same places as some of the big companies get their hooks from, but you, they sell them a lot cheaper. Have I seen the banana carp rods? I haven't, unfortunately, um, Wayne, but I've heard some good things about them. Very well made. I think they're a German company or a Dutch company. I'm not sure. Yeah, Brett Dummer says, yeah, been to Royston Lakes. Really enjoyed it. Had a couple of three days there with, with his lad. There you go. Nick Hawk Warner says, regarding Wells disease and other waterborne diseases, everyone should have a hand. Sanitizer in a kit as well as a carp care kit. Yep, I totally agree, Nick. Keith Perry says, JR5, five season is corking, two had one for years. So there's plenty of bags out there. It just depends on budget, I, I would say. Chris B says, how can he keep the black chickens off his bait? He's had a nightmare last session. you got to get one of the black chicken t-shirts for a start from the website. Um, it's just one of them things, I think, with them. I bait up at night when there's lots of black chickens. Because then they don't, you've got a lot longer before they find it. Because they watch you and they know when you're baiting up their sods. Michael Pierce, oi oi, just got in from work, rushed home to catch what have I missed. Not a lot, Michael. We're talking about five seasons sleeping bags and Welsh disease and a few other bits and pieces. Andy says, how do you heat your body in cold? Winter sessions, some tips. Now, you've got to be very careful I use a Coleman, but I have to have ventilation. So I pull the front of the door down. So you've got a letterbox like that. Because if you have it all done up, you're going to take, you're going to have all the oxygen taken out of the atmosphere and you're going to replace it with carbon dioxide and you'll never wake up, you'll die. So be very careful, guys. If you're heating your brivy or your broly, your system in the winter, be very careful. Kira Styler says, seen this guy the same name as me in Carp Talk magazine. He caught the biggest carp in the UK last week at £53. Handsome devil he was. Kieran, I actually know of a £55 and another £53 that came out last week. But well done. £53 is a massive fish. Dave Dawkins says, he's been to Royston Lakes. He had a £42-pounder on the cell. Good for you, David. Michael Watkins says there's a 10-year guarantee with the banana rods. Mm, that's good, isn't it? Brett Dummer says laser point. Yep, I forgot about that, Brett. That works as well. I've got a green one and a red one. Some of them, I think they're colour blind or something, or they're just blind because they, they don't move out of the way. A lot, a lot of them, though, they just scatter. Get a real powerful one, but then it works in the day as well. Lee Brown says in winter, do you still use oil glugs? With the water temperature dropping, cheers. Well, Lee, I use a lot of oils in the winter. Here's a couple that you should look into. Toasted sesame seed oil, which you can get at Tesco's. Hemp oil. Them two are the best ones, especially the hemp oils, you could ever use. Don't use anything that solidifies, like olive oil or salmon oil. Don't use that. The best way to test it is to get the oil you're going to use, get a little bottle of it, stick it in your fridge. If it goes all congealed, don't use it. If it stays runny still, use it. So there's plenty of different other oils out there as well you can use, but I use a lot of oils in the winter, particularly those two. Black chickens don't like laser pointers. No, they certainly do. Michael Watkins doesn't have Facebook. He doesn't like it. No problem, Michael. I'll get over there and I'll, I will answer your question and your message on Twitter as soon as I can. Evening, Peter Rundles. 96 people in the house. We've been going for 30 minutes. There's 96 people in here. How mad is that? How crazy is that? 96 people. We normally get about 100. So if you like it, guys, press that like. Press that thumbs up. 
And if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, you'll never miss any of the videos. Have you guys noticed that I've upped the amount of videos now that I'm producing every week? I'm hoping to do four or five on a regular basis every week now, just cramming it in. And I've just recorded the first in a new series about photography, a new photography series uh, about how you position things, how you do self-takes, all that. So that's all coming next week and onwards. Maximus Lengther says, when's the best time to switch to winter baits? Uh, what I tend to do is I tend to mix, for freebies, me boilies, I tend to mix them in. Over the next month or so, I'll mix in my winter bait with my summer bait. Uh, and then I'll just try it. Hook baits, I'll, I'll fish a lot more fluoro pop-ups, things like that. Uh, little bits of maize. You know, even, uh, uh, what's that little sausage thing you can get? Little spicy sausage that uh, no one uses anymore. Maggots as well. Michael Walker says, what's your view on the lakes at Yately? Love the lakes at Yately, especially Sandhurst. Cracking lake. Michael Pierce says, save some time for your fishing. Leon, don't get too busy with us, but I love you guys, don't I? You support me, so I'm supporting you, but giving you content. Just hope you get something from it and it helps you all. Wayne Pettigrew says, garden sleeping bag is fantastic. I had an old garden sleeping bag. It went down minus 30. You must be fishing in bloody, well, I don't know where he's fishing in minus 30. Ice fishing, I reckon. Canada. Darren Thompson, he says, loves fishing in the winter. I love it as well. Quiet and it's like Pepper Army. That's the one, guys. The Pepper Army. Steve. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Keith. Thanks, Obsessive Karma. Now, that's a really good winter bait as well. As an alternative to yours. Even on your boily, just tip it with a little bit of pepper army. It's a little tip for you. Mark Dean, Kodak. See? Hit Kodak up on Instagram or Facebook. He sells some really good laser pens. He should send me one to review, really, shouldn't he? Shouldn't he, guys? For nothing. And then I can review him and push him all his way. Pepper Army, that's the one. Paul Harris says, Evening, mate, I like the review on the throwing stick as it's a bit better price when bringing up a family and on a buddy. Exactly, Paul. That's why I looked at all of them out there. That was one, if not the cheapest, and it's probably made in the same factory as half of the other ones, which are twice the price. And it does what it says on the tin. You know, I'll give it a good go for the last couple of months, and it's a really good throwing stick. The NGT Throwing Stick. If any of you guys haven't seen it, I did a review on the NGT Throwing Stick on my channel this week. Just gone. Check it out. <coughs> Brett Dumbo says, cool, link it here so we can buy them. Chorizo. Yeah, that's another good one as well, Paul. Cheers, boys. Ben Clark says, like your video and keep up the Good work. Thank you very much, Ben. Let's have a look who else is... Uh... Yep, send them a make a vid of you annoying the black chickens. <laughs> send Leon a laser pen. We can all see how good it is. Here, send us one and his pop-ups. He does good, good bait as well. Dave Dawkins says, Leon, do you use foam with your chods? No, I use very buoyant. Oh, foam, like you mean um, on the hook? Um, no, not really. Because I, the way I fish them is it just settles down nicely like that on the chod. On me, Even on my hinge stiffener, I don't use foam. Only on me uh, multi-rig that I use foam. Daniel O'Brien says, Leon, I mentioned Suffolk Water Park in one of your live streams before. Thank you, said it was going there. Any tips for it? Yeah, I'm going there soon. I've never fished it, Suffolk Water Park, but it must be a few guys on here, Daniel O'Brien, that have fished it that can give you some tips or get yourself in the only takes one bite 
closed Facebook group. Ask in there and there'd be plenty of people to give you advice in there. Steve Ruth says, can you do a video of some of your meal options? We all get stuck for things to cook in the bank. I'm thinking about something like that to do. And if you've seen some of my vlogs, I've included some of the meals that I've been eating. Um, I don't know if you guys want to see me actually cooking it up and what I do. I just sort of give you an option. So I'm going to do more of that as well. Leandro says, love you, Leon, on the carp dog. Wish you many pretty fish in the bank. Good angry, sir. Plenty in the tank. Thank you very much, Lee, for the kind words. And I appreciate all you guys. Stephen Top says, have I fished around Nottinghamshire? Any good day to get waters? Keep these blogs going. Um, I haven't really. I fished Peterborough on Syndicate Lakes, but not on day ticket lakes. There might be some guys in here. If not, like I just said a minute ago, get yourself to the only over to the only takes one bite Facebook group, and we'll answer your questions there. Dave Dawkins loves the show. Thank you very much for the kind comments, guys. Dave Fisher, thank you for turning up. Have a brilliant evening. See you soon. Yeah, I'm just going to tell you what I've got going on for the next hour I'm going forward with the YouTube channel, guys. I'm going to do my vlogs on a Monday. Tuesday's going to be the five top tips. I hope you like that. Wednesday's is always going to be the question of the week. So if you've got any questions, email them to me. or put them on down on the actual comment section of the videos when I release them. So I always look at them. I always use your questions, guys. Fridays are going to be... Uh, either reviews or it's going to be the photography new series. Saturday is going to be the live stream or maybe during the week. So you're going to get about four or five unique bits of content every week now. Instead of just the two and a live, you're going to get four or five. Because we're going to push this up. We're going to push this channel up where it belongs. And it's thanks to you guys as well. So if you've got any ideas for things you want to see, because I can't recall this what we're doing here in the comments, send me an email, leon at leoncarper.com, or put the question in the comment section of any of the videos that you watch, because I see them. I get a notification on my phone. With the photography series we're going to be doing, we're going to be looking at how to take shots with your smartphone, as well as your DSLR, like that. We're going to be showing you how to take shots and position the shots, self-takes, water shots, little tips for you know getting the best out of your photography. So look for that, guys. that be coming soon. So if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe key, subscribe to the channel. So look, what else we got? Maximus lends his hand low before Danny gives you the thumbs down. He's probably already given me the thumbs down already. Um... Him and a few others in the trade, I think they uh, they don't they don't for some reason like um, you know people getting on and helping people. God knows why. It's all for the benefit of everyone, isn't it? What else we got? Brett Dummer says GoPro drone both. Martin Pierce says he can't wait for the photography piece pieces. Well, I'm going to make them as good as possible for you guys. And uh, anything you have trouble with. On those videos in the comments section, just ask me a question there to do a video on it, and I will. Steve Root, cooking with Leon. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Darren Thompson says, how much bait would you use in a winter? Would you fish for a bite or put some bait out? Well, Darren, if I'm fishing the same water all winter, I use a lot of bait when I go home or when I'm actually fishing to keep the fish um, feeding all winter. And the bait has got to be little bits, boilies chopped up, some old ones, lots of different size bits, but it's all got to be stuff they can eat and get the most from. It's all got to go through their system really well. Otherwise, they get clogged up and they stop feeding. So hemp, maize, you know, the, like the System X boilies that I'm using this winter, you know, pepperami, you know, um, you know, lots of different bits and pieces. Sean Castle, best channel, going great, bunch of lads. Thanks, Sean. Mark Mason 13, good to see you. Hi, Lil. How would you go about getting carp out of a low stocked big pit that have not been fished for that much? Location, location, location. I would say, Mark, I'd get over there early, I'd stay up late, I'd feed a few spots. If you can get out on a boat, all the better. 
you know, I just try and find them. I try and create my own spots for them. You know, I fish three different hook bar. I fish a pop up, a bottom bait, and a tiger. You know, I'd use particles, or I'd just use boilies. I'd find out what they want, what they need. The obsessive carpet says, Can I do a video on splicing lead core leaders and leader knots? Yes, I can do something like that for you. Not a problem. Michael Pierce says, I see another long term call to ladders left and gone off on his own. Uh, Michael Pierce, which guy is that? Yep, Wayne, I'm here to help you because you help me. I get a buzz from helping you guys and for you watching and showing your appreciation by liking the video, watching the video. It's brilliant. I love it. It's great. Michael Wock says, got to be doing the, the say big names nuts in with the amount of people you're getting on live streams. Well, you know, it has. I reckon it probably is. They probably don't like it in the trade. That like people like me and other guys have got their own YouTube channels and live streams who are putting it all out there. See, Gary Stenning says, Yep, I agree, Leon. Darren, the obsessive carper blogs has really helped his fishing at Farlows. That's what it's all about. It's all about helping each other. Elliot Gray, oh, the obsessive carper. Elliot Gray's left, does he? Oh, right, okay. Jamie Collins says, just got the cap light you were using in your blog in a post today. Good bit of kit. Yep, Jamie, it is a really good bit of kit. You can, and it actually, um, I'm pretty sure it, it shines up in the dark as well. You can see it in the dark, not when it's off. I'm sure the material they've used actually is a bit fluorescent in the light. Also, you can stick it on your bivvy. I'm going to do a full review just on that light, not in one of my vlogs. A full review just on that light soon so watch out for that guys if you haven't go and have a look at my last vlog as well from last monday and it's in there as well yeah willie wassell elliot gray good luck to a young guy pushing the boundaries yeah hazy boy says when i say what kind when I say I use a lot of bait in the winter, what kind of quantities are we talking about? It really does depend. If you're fishing, if I'm fishing somewhere like Farlow's all, all winter, and I'm fishing somewhere like Sandhurst all winter, or say uh, up at in Oxford at Linear, I'd probably be using a bucket every time I go of bait. If I was fishing it every week, I, I want to get that bait in there because it's got a big head of fish. If, if there's hardly any fish in the lake, and I'm looking for one bite. I probably wouldn't use that much bait, probably half a bucket or just fish singles and try and find the fish. But if I'm fishing a lake or a club ball or a syndicate every week for two nights every week, I'd be putting in probably a bucket, you know, a big bucket of mixed particles and that on a couple of spots and just keep it going in. You know, you, you can put lots of maize in there, bulk it out, you know, chop boilies. You don't have to use all boilies because it's very expensive. Andrew Murphy says, Hi Leon, any tips for Farlows? We've got just a guy in here called the Obsessive Carper. Ask him, he's got a video, he's got a ch YouTube channel where he's got lots of uh, tips all about Farlows on there. Brett Dummer says, Link the headlight here, please. Uh, I'll try to in a minute. If you, Brett, if you go to my last v vlog on the YouTube, the links are actually in the description below where you can actually go. And get the light. Brett Dumbo says you have to grow a beard to get in the big fish off. Yeah, or or be employed by Calder, I think, because they have to pay for it, don't they? Ollie Waits, hello Leon, long time no see as a carp dog. Yep, yeah, he's good, Dolly. He's downstairs, but Mrs. B's cooking dinner and he's sniffing around for some scraps, I think. And the says, dude. Do you fish other countries except France? Yes, Holland as well. <coughs> I fished Holland a couple of times, a few times. Morgan Evans, hi mate. Hi Leon, what leader and lead setup are you using at the moment? Uh, I'm using, uh, because there's no weed in the lake, I'm using the rotary rig with a uh, D rig with bottom baits, but that will change in the next month where I'll be fishing pop ups, probably with a clip system. If I go to Farlow's, there's a little bit more weed. Um, not Farlow's, Sanders. 
Darren Thompson said, have you seen the new direction by a lot? Some of the features look good. Uh, I haven't seen them, but I'll give you a little word of warning with someone like New Direction. Um, they are a Chinese company, so you're buying Chinese for a start, and also they are copying other companies' products and putting them on their Amazon and on their website. So be very careful of buying anything of New Direction Tackle. Sorry, not New Direction. Uh, yeah, it is New Direction. Sorry, New Direction Tackle, not not NGT. Uh, new Direction, NDT, New Direction Tackle. Be very careful of buying anything from them because they are, they are copy merchants. They're just copying what other companies are, are doing at a le lot less quality. Delty Angler, evening, Leon. Keep up the vlogs. Does Mrs. B do a delivery service with her curries? No. <laughs> Leandro says, carp, life's tough, Leon. All these top carvers. I think about going back to match fishing. My pinkies are liquidized bread, but love the laziness of bite alarms. What should I do? Don't go back, Lee. Don't go back. I used to be a match angler, and I just love carp fishing. The chilling out of it all. Can't go back. Never look back, they say, don't they? Brett Dummer says, stick to well-known brands and reviews. Yes, unless you've been recommended by someone else, a particular uh, brand that's not as well-known. I only buy things on recommendations, like the like that carbon frame stick by NGT. A couple of people said to me, messaged me privately, they said, look, it's exactly the same as some of the top brands, just made in the same factory, half the price. So I bought one off Amazon. Absolutely lovely bit of kit. See, Ken Singley says, had the new direction, bite alarms, absolutely terrible, sold them back to Delkins. <laughs> there you go, you see. Buy cheap, buy twice. Or buy someone you don't really know, you buy twice. Morgan Evans says, what's the favourite meal on the bank? It's got to be those kebabs, those pork kebabs that I've been doing in a wrap. Bit of salad cream, bit of lettuce, lovely. Brick Dumro, carbonara and ridge mate. Yes, I've been doing that. I've got that this week if I go. Pasta and the carbonara sauce in the old cooker. Lovely. Fresh pasta, fresh sauce. Well, we'll be going for 47 minutes, guys. 88 if you're still in the house. If you haven't already, subscribe. Hit that like. Hit the old thumbs up. Danny Glee, Neville's. I've got Neville's. I love them. I've had them for years and years and years and years. Darren Thompson. Don't know, pal. Thanks for what I mean. You can't pay this info, love. Brilliant. And it's all Freddie Freeman's, isn't it? It's all free, Darren. It's great. Brad Esther, local takeaway. I'll make you right there. Johnny's or Indian or whatever. So we've got 91 of us again in here. Lovely. Listen, guys, I really appreciate you coming in on Saturday night, this live feed, and watching all my videos. It means so much to me that you do and that you get something out of these videos. Morgan out burgers in the ridge, might get something else. Yeah. Got to go, guys. Pizza's here. Good to see you, Brett. Catch up with you soon. Tight lines. See you next week. Later, Nigel. Good to see you, mate. Evening, Matthew Randall. Hope you're well. Could you recommend some good bite alarms with receiver? Andy D says. Now, there's a couple of good ones. The Fox ones, but they're very expensive. You've got the Never ones. They're very good as well. They're the two. I mean, you've got Del Kim's. I don't particularly like Del Kim's, but all three of those are brands which have been around for a long, long, long time. Paula Critch says, not on the bank for another four weeks. The pain is still there. Oh, I feel your pain, Paul. I feel your pain. No problem, Lee. Pleasure. Only way it says he's tied his own leaders, but what do you think would be the right situation to use a lead-free lead core? Also, done some with a four-turn grin at the lead end. Would this slip or be a good idea? Um, ooh, what situation to use a lead-free lead core leader? Um, I can't think of a situation, really, unless you want it mega supple, but then I just like lead... I've tried splicing them bloody lead-free leaders, and they're a nightmare. I can't get on with them. Four-turn grinner, I'd say do a seven-turn grinner and put it back through the loop, wet it, put it down. I'll even burn the end so it can't come off. There you go, Morgan Emmons, National Arms. There's another one for the uh, R3S's, something like that, I think they're called. 
Lee Brown, off the Curry's calling. Cheers, Leon. Cheers, Lee, for popping in. Good to see you. Another vote for Nash R3 Sirens. Can't fault them from Keith Oakley. Daniel O'Brien, R3's quality. Matty Russian S. Delkins, now not as good as my Fox RX I had for years. Yep, Fox are quite good. Cranky Carpet says, new direction alarms or pads. They certainly are. And if you look at some of the stainless they're selling on now, it's a direct copy of Summit Tackles and such a lower low quality. Can't believe that people are buying it. It's got to be carpet, says Nevs and Dower, reliable, been around for years, that's what works, no problem Molly. <coughs> Leon, going back to the maze, would you add anything to it when it's cooking? Not when it's cooking, I wouldn't, no, I mean you can add sugar afterwards, but I just, I don't add anything, I just leave it the way it is, just let it, for about a week, literally for a week, just to glug up and go all, Lovely and sexy and everything else. Liam Rogers, good to see you. Currently sat on his Clingsbury Syndicate in the Neen Valley, pouring it down with thunder all around me. Got to be in it to win it. Exactly. Two multi-rigs of clear spots, surrounded by weed. Loving the vids, Leon. Loving the comment, Liam. You've got the rods on the dance floor. You've got the multi-rigs on. It's pouring down with rain. Love it. Carl G, Northwestern Fishing, good to see you, Carl. Line tied to his son's toe, never lets him down, no batteries required, just wagon wheels. Love it. Loving your style, Carl. No direction is in here. No. Wayne Pettigrew has just had a 27 pounder. His batteries get low. My alarms are ehe. Morgan Emma says, see you, love Daryl Big Pits. What do you think of the Shimano? Uh, I have actually got Dower SS3000s, Morgan, and I've had those for about 15 years. Del Yang says, when can we get the black chicken hoodies? I'm waiting for a couple of samples. You've got this one here, but it's too, it's too bottle green. It's just too, it's not carpy enough. So I'm waiting for them to come in next week, and then we'll see where we go from there. I've got a load of new designs coming as well, so bear with me, guys, and hats. I've pull over beanies, so we'll see. Keith Oakley said, Leon, you keep saying Oakley, and there's no L in Oakley. It's my East London accent, I'm afraid, Keith. I must apologise. Willie Wasson says, Carl G, great vlogs, my friend. Yep, get yourself out to Carl G, Northwestern Fishing. He does some really good vlogs and how-to videos and that. Get yourself over there. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, Subscribe to his channel. Let's bump up his channel as well. Evening the vaping carpenter. Sorry he's late. Hope you're okay. I'm good. Good to see good to see you, the vaping carpenter. Derek Smith, good to see you. 97 people in the house. 52 minutes we'll be going. I'm gonna be here for about another five minutes because Mrs. B, I'm gonna smell the curry she's just taken out. We're having salad, pop the door. Oh my mouth's dripping. So whilst I love you guys, the dinner's calling. So we've got about another five minutes, guys. Do not do your credit. <laughs> nah, get yourself up to Carl G's, friend. Carl G's, Northwestern Fishing. Good channel. There's some very good guys on here who've got good channels. The Obsessive Carp is one. Carl G, Northwestern Fishing. Get yourself over there as well, guys. Del Yanga says, can he pop round as he's starving? I'm starving as well, Del, but there's going to be nothing left, especially with the carp dog as well. He's going to be munching. Enjoy the ruby. Hope there's no ring sting in the morning. No, it's cool. We're all the way. Richard Mark Hodges says, Carl's vids are banging. They certainly are. Guys, if you haven't, just click on his little icon there. Carl G, Northwestern Fishing, get us over there and subscribe to his channel. Liam Rogers says, Hi, right, Leon, in your own fishing, would you say this is your favourite time of year to go after target fish before the cold sets in? I like it when it's freezing. I like the winter. That's my favourite type of year, Leo. Less anglers, the fish are their biggest, and it's just a nice, crisp, beautiful. I'm a sad git that likes the darkness of the bivvy, listen to the radio, the football, 
time on your own to reflect on life. No problem, Lee. Good to see you. Carp jog tasting black chickens. Michael Watkins will see that. Daniel Bryan's a cold G subscriber. Leon, you doing a carp dog call D? I reckon I will be, yes. Thank you, five in the post, Leon. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Right, guys. I can smell the curry. It's ready. We're 55 minutes into this. I'm going to take one more question and then I'm going to have to go and get me dinner because it's just, it's crippling me not being able to go down and eat it. I'm sure it's on the table. I'm sure the carp dog's eating it. CWC Carfish says you and Carl need to meet up, record a session. Yep, we have got plans to do that. See you next week, Carper Phil. See you later, Ian. I'm having a black chicken corn with Morgan. I certainly am. Matty Rushton put two stone on since coming on here. Yep, so have I, Matty. Yep, Keith. Keith Oki. I've bought, um, I've had my SS3000 as well. Right, guys. Have a great weekend. If you're out fishing, I hope you bag your PB. As always, I appreciate, like, you wouldn't believe you're tuning in. 96 people, 90, over 100 people at max. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. Thanks for looking at my videos. And I'll see you next Saturday or maybe this Tuesday when we go and do another live, live stream on YouTube. Thanks, guys. Have a brilliant weekend.